laid the golden eggs. Once upon a time, many years ago in England, a farmer and his wife were living together very happily. The farmer had a cow, some chickens, a flock of geese and a horse. He used the horse to pull the plough and sometimes he went on it to market. His wife looked after the chickens and the geese. The farm was on good land, so the farmer was able to grow all kinds of vegetables in his kitchen garden down by the river. He and his wife had plenty to eat all through the year. When they had more than they could eat, the farmer would load the horse with sacks of vegetables to sell on the market. It took him a day to get there, a day to sell everything, and another day to come back home. So for three days, his wife looked after everything on the farm until the farmer returned. One day, he said to his wife, We have a very good harvest this year. I have four sacks of vegetables to sell on the market, and I think I shall go tomorrow. His wife was feeding the geese and the chickens. One of our geese is missing. I've looked everywhere for her, but she's nowhere to be seen. Perhaps the fox has had her. The farmer helped her to look for the missing goose, but he couldn't find her. I don't think the fox has had her, he said. You usually see a few feathers lying about when that old fox has been here stealing. Perhaps she's gone down to the river. When I've gone to the market, you should look for her. But perhaps she'll be back by morning. So they went to bed and slept well all night. In the morning, the farmer said to his wife, is that goose returned? No, answered his wife. Perhaps she knew what was in my mind. What was that? asked the farmer. I decided to kill her, replied his wife. But now I will kill one of the others. We have more than we need, and with the money you get for the goose on the market, we can buy some cloth. Do we need cloth? asked her husband. Yes, said his wife. I want to make us both some warm clothes for the winter. So the farmer's wife went out and killed one of the geese. Her husband loaded up the horse and off he went to market. I'll be home in three days, he called out to her. After he'd gone, the farmer's wife went to look for the missing goose. She walked along the riverbank calling for her. She was some way from the farm when she saw the goose's head popping out of a clump of reeds. Then the farmer's wife saw that the goose had made a nest. So there you are, she said. You silly old thing. Why don't you make your nest on the farm like all the others? Then she moved the goose from her nest. To her great surprise, she saw an egg in the nest. She was even more surprised when she saw that it was a golden egg. The farmer's wife put the egg in her pocket and returned home. When she showed the golden egg to her husband, he couldn't believe his eyes. I shall go back to the market straight away, he told her. Unless I'm very much mistaken, this is pure gold, and I shall sell it on the market. They both rejoiced, for they felt their fortunes would soon be made. So off he went back to the market. There was a merchant there who knew what was gold and what wasn't. He examined the egg, turning it this way and that. Where did you get this, he asked. The farmer told him. Oh, well, said the merchant, I will buy every one like this you can bring to me. And he gave the farmer a lot of money. The farmer was very happy. On the way home, he thought to himself how much money they could get for the golden eggs. When he saw his wife, he said, Our fortunes are made. We don't need to work any more. He took hold of her arms and wanted her to dance for joy. But then... He saw she was very unhappy. What's the matter? he asked. Then the farmer's wife told him. I have killed the goose, she said. I wanted to see how many golden eggs she had inside her, but I found none. The farmer was very sad. We've lost everything, he said to his wife. They both had a good cry. And then the farmer's wife said, We were so happy before I found that golden egg. Do you think we can be happy again? The farmer then realized how greedy they'd both been. You're right, he said, putting his arm around his wife. 
We were happy, and we had everything we needed. So let's forget all about the golden eggs and live as we lived before. Then surely we will be happy. And so they were.